Okay. Hey guys, it's Phantom, and welcome or welcome back to the channel for another Sims FAQ video. Now, some of these questions are a little outdated. <laughs> some of these questions are outdated, but I've gotten, uh, now that The Sims 4 is completely free for everybody, but I'll try to answer as many comments as I have. Okay, so, okay, so this, this involves The Sims 3. Uh, someone said, so my Sims 3 packs won't show up in game or under the game, and I have the Mac one as well. So the Mac and PC game are basically the same thing. Um, I have, I have the game, I actually have all my games on disc, pretty much. Okay, you know what, maybe I won't take sips of things while I'm recording. So, this says, this says, so my Sims 3 packs won't show up in game or under the game, and I have the Mac one as well. Um, okay, so basically, the, basically the PC and Mac one are the same thing. Like, I got the uh, physical copy of The Sims 3, and I installed it. It kind of, it kind of works on Mac, but not really. I think it depends on the person. <laughs> um, so, anyway. Uh, basically the problem that this person is having, um, their packs won't show up, um, and they can't see anything under their game, but they know they have it. Okay, so, um, someone, someone commented you can go to the settings in the EA app and get all your packs back no problem um, but I'm going to uh, focus on this comment first so um, okay so there's a couple of steps to installing a Sims 3 pack okay so um, hold on I'm gonna open up the EA app Hold on, I'm gonna open up the EA app here. And so there are a couple, there are actually a couple of steps. Okay, I don't know why the app opened like that. That was a little weird. Uh, okay, you can't see what I can see, but um, I guess I can just tell you because I don't really want to switch over. <laughs> Or, or not right now, anyway. But, um, okay, so basically, they won't show up in-game. Um, okay, so let's go to The Sims 3 here. Um, so, hold on, you know what, I guess I will switch over to Window Capture and go here. And turn my window capture on. Turn image off for a second. So, um, there are several steps to do this. So, first, also, you don't have to, also, you don't have to get Sims 3 currency if you don't want to buy it. But, um, you can, you know, you can register your packs on the website. I have a video on how to do that, um, which I will, which I will link. So, okay, so for me, they have, so under installed games, for me, for mine, I have The Sims 3, uh, it says what edition I have, I have the standard edition, last time played, how many hours played, 
And then, like, here they have all the add-ons and stuff. And, um, so if you go to manage, manage add-ons, um, so manage add-ons, this should be all of, well, yours might look a lot different from mine. Yours might look different from mine, but here are the packs that I have installed. Um, here are the packs that I have installed um so i have world adventures i have university life installed i have seasons installed pets late night and generations oh and seasons i think i forgot seasons <laughs> i think i forgot to mention seasons so those are the packs that i have installed i don't have any stuff packs just expansion packs for right now but it says view all add-ons right here. So this is like, this is just Sims 3 currency, uh, which is um, like Sim points. That's what the currency is. Um, like that's just Sim points. Um, you don't have to actually buy sim points. You can redeem your packs and get and get stuff that way. Um, and then here are the worlds that you can. Here are the worlds that you can buy. Um, some of them are more expensive than others. So, if it says you own this add-on then it was already registered on the site. Um, so here's all the stuff that they do have for add-ons. And um, then they have, you know, stuff packs, which, okay. So to make this easier, okay, firstly, yes, yes, you have them, but one thing that you have to remember to do whenever you get new, um, so let's go to the, let's go to sims3.com. Um, again, I already have a video on this, but, so let's go to sims3.com. Um, Sims 3 home. So, basically, what you do is you... Okay, so this is the Sims 3 website. This is the website. And then you... Um, if you already have... I'll... I'll blur that out. <laughs> I'll blur that out. Um... Sorry. Yeah, I'll I'll blur the part of me signing in. Oh, oh, hold on. You can't see what I'm doing. Never mind. Since you can't really see since you couldn't really see what I'm doing, I won't have to blur it out. But let me switch to here. Um so let me switch to here. So I am on the sims3.com. Um, if you're wondering, this is also where, <laughs> excuse me, sorry, I sneezed. Um, excuse me. So, <laughs> okay, I won't have to blur um, me signing into this out because uh, it was on the EA app instead of this. So, anyway. Basically, the comment said they can't see their packs. They can't see their packs. Or anything like that. So, what you want to do is after you buy a pack. After you buy a pack and, you know, put the code in. Because the code is only a one-time the code on, um, okay, so 
if you buy your packs physically versus uh, on Origin, um, the code on Origin is only a one-time installation. So what you want to do is you want to go to, okay, you want to go to the sims3.com. You want to sign in or register. You want to sign in or register your game. Or, yeah, well, first, you know, create an account if you don't have one. Um, you probably, probably already have one because if you have an EA account or an Origin account, um, you probably have an account already, but you have to make sure that your game is registered and that your packs are registered. So what you want to do is you want to go to register a game and then you want to type in the serial code, which is found in, which is found in the email. Okay. So here are where your code is found for your game or for your pack. So if you buy, okay, this is, this is just for packs, but if you buy a pack, um, um, if you buy a pack on disc, first what you want to do is install it on disc. If you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can. Um, so I have my Seasons expansion pack on my desk, um, just to kind of tell you how that works. So. I'm just using my Seasons pack as an example. Sorry, my hair is kind of dusty. Um, anyway, what you want to do when it comes to when it comes to packs, you want to look for the. You want to look for the limited ninety day warranty book or like. Or not, you know, you know what I mean. You want to look for the um, instruction. You want to look for the instruction pack, or like the little instruction booklet, and you want to look on the back. So on the back of the instruction booklet is the uh, limited ninety day warranty information, um, and on top of that is the code for. Um, is the code to install the pack on Origin or on Disk. And uh, what you want to do is you want to register a game. And then you want to type in the serial code. The serial code are, is the mix of letters and numbers up top on the little installation booklet. And then you want to register. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this as an example. My packs were already registered, but I'm going to use this as an example. So um, let me type in the code. Um, so e hold on oh. e a J F P R eight um Q V sorry, I tend to um Maybe, maybe I'm doing this wrong, but, um, okay, maybe I was doing that wrong, so hold on, I have to, um, hold on, I have to, 
Oh, maybe, maybe it's in here. Maybe it's in reading the code. Um, I think I see now. Did I miss? Oh, I missed one. <laughs> oh, I missed one. Hold on. Okay, so. I will bring this out. So, okay, I will blur this serial code out. But, okay, I was just using this, I was just using that as an example. Um, mine, it says that mine is invalid because mine was already installed. Um, so if I go here, if I go here, um, if I go here, then it shows all, then it shows all my, it has, it has it listed under my games, so I have Generations, Late Night, Sims 3, so I have the Sims 3, which is, you know, base game, and then I have all my expansions, which are Generations, Late Night, University, Pets, World Adventures, and Seasons. I only need one, two, three, four, five. I only need five more expansion packs until I complete this whole section. So, um, yeah. What you want to do, again, I will blur out that, like, me putting that code in for, um, for an example, but what you want to do is you want to go to register. Okay, so if you cannot see, if you cannot see your packs in, if you can't see your packs, if you can't see your Sims 3 packs, um, that means they aren't registered. Um, that means they aren't registered on the Sims 3 store. So um, that's basically how you do it. If your pack is already your pack is already installed, or not, not installed. So what you have to do is you have to install your pack, obviously. And then you need to go on the store website, which is the sims3.com. You need to go to, um, you need to go to register a game. You need to go here. So after after you sign in, you need to go to uh, register a game. Uh, type in type in the code that came in the email. Type in the code that came in the email or in the box if you physically bought it. Um, and type the code and type the code exactly how you see it, and then. 
click register and then it should be then it should be there and then go back to the EA app and it should and then it should show up as you own this pack. So I hope that that was helpful for you. I hope that helped. Um, oops. Sorry, I couldn't just wake up for on. I'm sorry. Oops. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I hope that was helpful for you. Anyway, I'm going to, um, you know what, I'll keep, I'll keep that tab open just in case I need it open. Um, just in case I need it, I'll keep those tabs. open but um just letting you know you need to register your packs um you need to register your packs uh on the ea web or not the ea website the sims3.com for it to be able to show up uh whether it's whether it's base game expansion packs um, you know, worlds <coughs> that you can get on Origin, or, um, like, this, this isn't talking, this isn't talking about custom worlds, this is talking about worlds that you can get on, um, Origin or the EA app. So, yeah, the reason why you're having that problem is because your packs are not registered on the sims3.com. So register your packs, um, register your packs, um, remember that it's, um, remember to click register a game instead of redeem a code, uh, cause codes are, cause redeeming a code is something else, like something completely different. So yeah, so there's, ba there's basically two steps to this. First you have to, first you have to install the pack. First you have to install the pack, whether it's on disk or via uh, the EA app or something like that. And then once it's installed, go directly to the sims3.com, click uh, register a game, type in the serial, type in the serial code, um, if it's, if it's invalid, then it was already, if it's invalid, then the pack, then you've already registered the pack. So, um, yeah, anyway, let's move on to some more questions. So, this comment is like 10 days old, um, I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure if this person is referring to Sims 3 or 4, but this could apply to both. Um, so, this comment says, I just bought the packs and this is my first time playing. I didn't realize you needed a registration code. Where would I find it? Where would I find where it is? Because about five packs have gone to waste then. Okay. so. Actually, no. Um, your packs, your packs haven't gone to waste at all. Your packs haven't gone to waste. Um, so a way I can help with this is okay. So as you all know, The Sims Four. Okay, so if this is referring to The Sims Four, and you physically got your hands on. Okay, if this is referring to The Sims 4 and you physically got your hand on packs, you physically got your hands on packs, sorry, um, and you physically got your hands on packs, then you would know that, 
Um, pretty much all the expansion, pretty much all the expansion packs are download only. Um, at least after, I think, after Get to Work, it's all download only. Um, at least none of the packs I have are, uh, have, like, physical discs. But for those that do, basically what you would do if you have a disc drive is you would insert it into the disc drive, um, type the code in, install it, um, type the code in, it would install, and so on and so forth. Um, this, this would be if you didn't want to redeem a code through the EA app or through Origin. But if this is referring to The Sims 3, I'm not sure if you are referring to The Sims 3 or 4. If this is referring to The Sims 3, so it says, I just bought the packs and this is my first time, needed a registration code. Yes, you do need a registration code. So, um, if you're referring to The Sims 3, um, if you are referring to The Sims 3, there is an extra step. Um, okay, so, automatic downloads is a thing. Uh, you just have to make sure that, okay, no, actually, no, you didn't waste them. Especially if you have, uh, automatic downloads on. So, uh, I think you just go into settings. download uh, update so for updates so it tells you where your downloads would go okay so Origin and EA, Origin and the EA app have this thing called automatic downloads. Um, so, okay, I'm not gonna, okay, I might use another game of mine as an example, like Apex Legends. So you go to, um, you go here. Hold on, let me turn on window capture again. Turn this off. Okay, so let me use one of these games as an example. I'm not going to use Sims 3 or 4 because I don't want to uninstall them and reinstall them. But if you go up here to redeem code, I don't have anything to redeem. But if you were to go up here, um, it says type in the product code below to redeem your in-game content gift card or EA Play subscription time. If you click where is my where is my code, um, it will either be in an email, it will either be in a confirmation email or in the box if you got like a you know if you got like one of those download if you got one of those digital downloads only then it would be in the box. then it would be in the box so check your check your email check your email check to see if there's any um, emails from EA um, regarding you know your your packs or if it's from or if it's from Amazon to also check your email or if you have got a uh, game case to check that as well so that's that's probably where it would be that's my best bet uh so i bought my game on ea um so yeah uh go to the download manager here um so go to the download manager um Okay, so there's three ways that you can do this. Check your check your email. Um, okay, check your email or check your um, you know yeah check your email to make sure that there if there are codes in there, then go ahead and check there. And then if you don't see anything there, go click the download manager. And then if you don't have anything that needs downloading, then it should look something like this. 
Um, so, so if if your codes, if your codes aren't in, okay, okay. If you bought stuff on the EA app, check your download manager. Check your download manager, and then download everything. Download everything one after the other. If you got, if you got stuff from, let's say, um, if you got stuff and your automatic downloads aren't on, then be sure to check your, be sure to check for a confirmation of order email, um, and all that stuff. So yeah, just check for a confirmation of order email. And if you don't see one, check your download manager. And then if all your downloads are there, then just click one after the other and then download everything or install everything. Like install all five packs. Um, and then go to, then go to the My Collection tab, click here, click Manage, manage add-ons and then all of your um and then all of your add-ons should be in here you know all the add-ons that you have should be in here in a list so i hope that helped i hope that answered your question um I hope that answers your question. Yeah. So check your downloads tab. Okay. Follows fails. Check your email and check your downloads tab. Um. So this comments is. Image back on. Put our picture off. Okay. And then let's move on. Uh, I think those were, those are probably all the comments. Well, there is this one. Uh, this comment says, you can go to the settings in the EA app and get all your packs back, no problem. Um, yes, you, yes, you can do that. Um, like, or check the download manager, um, or check the download manager to make sure that you, that if you have stuff in the download manager to download it and install it and everything should be fine um and then this question says origin isn't even opening for me anymore so some people i've i've heard um i've heard on the sim grapevine that for some people Origin just completely stopped working for them, and they had to switch over to the EA app, which ties into the fact that a lot of people are um, that a lot of people are losing their games and such. So, um, that a lot of people are losing their games and such. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a way to fix this, like that other person said, go into settings. Um, like the other person said, go into settings, uh, check your download manager, check your manage downloads in the EA app. Um, so, or manage add-ons. So for me, like everything, so for me, everything showed up. I don't really have any problems. Um, 
So, if you, if you switched over to the EA app, please be sure to check your download manager, uh, your, you know, please be sure to check your download manager. Well, obviously sign in first. Obviously you need to sign in first, but please make sure to check your download manager. Um, and then your collection and then yeah mainly just check your download manager and everything should be in your download manager um also be sure that your games are backed up uh so that you don't lose anything and let me go to settings here and um go Where is it? Oh, download. So, um, for downloads, your, your should be like, okay, for, for me, mine says, for me, my install location says C colon backslash or forward slash program files slash EA games slash and then you could edit this but usually I leave it alone um so yeah it's like local disk but everything but for me everything is in documents so But yeah, it should all be there. If not, please make sure that your games are backed up. Um, but yeah, please make sure that your games are backed up. And then I'm also sure there are more in-depth videos on how to uh, fix that issue. Uh, I think those were all the questions. I think those were all the questions that I had to answer. So, or like all the comments I had to answer for this video, sorry. Um, anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video was helpful. If it wasn't helpful, I'm sure there are more in-depth videos on how to help. Oh, you can also search games and add-ons up here, I believe, like up top in the little search bar there um, in the EA app. But yeah, hope this video helped. I'm gonna edit this and yeah, hopefully I will get some more content out, like some streams or something. I don't know, but I'm going to edit this and shorten it down. So, yeah. Anyway, bye guys, and have a great rest of your day.